Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri and I'm the developer of Infernodus, a visual AI text analysis tool. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Infernodus to make your interactions with ChatGPT much more efficient. Because as you know ChatGPT has a tendency to be verbose and to provide really long answers, so I'm going to show you how you can use Knowledge Graph and Infernodus to make it very precise to have your conversations get to the point much quicker to focus on the nuance and the topics that you're really interested in. So keep watching if you want to learn how it works. So first of all you would need to open Infernodus and go to the apps. So I'm going to show you here. And then we have the uh, GPT-4 chat mode which you choose here and then you can start using GPT-3.5 or GPT-4. I will choose GPT-4 even though it's a little bit longer here. And then uh, first I will just start with the topic. In this case it's going to be wearable sensors because that's what I'm interested in at the moment. So let me just move my screen here so you can see how it looks. As you can see uh, ChatGPT which is built into Infernodus provides the answer directly and then uh, all the interaction that we have is visualized here as a knowledge graph. So I have direct visual feedback on what's happening. Uh, so here I said wearable sensors and it answers wearable sensors have found applications in both healthcare and fitness sectors. How are you thinking of using them in your context? So you see the answer is much shorter. It's, this is because uh, we reprogrammed it a little bit so that it provides uh, shorter and more precise responses. This is why I invite you to also try to use it inside Infernodus. You will see how much more efficient your interactions get. And here I have the answer also visualized as a graph, so I can quickly see what we're talking about. At this point is maybe not so important because uh, I can keep the whole conversation in memory, but once it gets longer you will see that the graph becomes uh, actually really useful because it gives you this possibility to see how to steer the conversation further. Uh, the words are visualized as the nodes. If the words are used in the same context, they're connected together. And if the words uh, are used in the same sentences, they will usually have the same color. So this is how this visualization works. And then here you have the analytics panel on the right, which shows to you what are the main topics, uh, also what are the gaps between them and so on. So here we will continue this conversation by saying, okay, I'm interested in healthcare. So I'm just going to say healthcare. It's going to take the context of this conversation and generate, okay, wearable sensors in healthcare can monitor crucial vitals like heart rate, sleep patterns, and so on. Are you interested in one particular area? So I will say, yes, tell me more about the heart rate monitoring. Okay, so let's develop this. As you can see, the sentences I'm adding are highlighted and the short answers that I receive are highlighted too. So then I can uh, observe in real time how the knowledge graph of this conversation is being built, which is really useful because I always have this direct visual feedback. Uh, let's say if I had to leave now for a couple of minutes and come back to the conversation, I wouldn't have to read through this. I would just look at the graph and be like, okay, we're talking about wearable sensors here, uh, monitors, uh, heart rate monitors, and so on. So there I can quickly get to the parts I need. Uh, here it says that heart rate monitors often use optical sensors to track your pulse via the blood flow in your wrist. They help identify regular heart rhythms or monitor response to physical activities. One more detail. Uh, yes, tell me more about uh, how they monitor the response to uh, physical activities. Okay, let's add this in. It highlights the cluster that we're developing right now. It's this one in this case, right? And then it says uh, that during physical activity, the heart rate increases to fuel your muscles with oxygen. A sensor can track those changes, providing real-time feedback on whether you need to intensify or reduce your workout. Details? Yes. Give me more. So as you can see, the answers are really concise to the point I can focus on specific stuff. And what's great is that I can see that now it added something completely different. You see this yellow cluster which it just has added, so I will highlight it here. It means that it's steering the conversation in a new interesting direction. So this is also one great use of knowledge graph like that because it allows you to observe how you're developing this conversation. And you can even fantasize uh, or ideate much better because when you see that, for example, you have a cluster here which you just built up but then you also had one here, uh, the obvious thing is that you would want to connect them too because in fact this is where the new ideas arise when you connect the ideas 
or the topics that haven't been connected yet, right? So here it says uh, we have a cluster on uh, uh, how you can use this feedback on your heartbeat to see if your heart rate is too high or too low and to tell you if you're pushing too hard or not. And then you have also here uh, something about intensify. So let's click on these words and see in which context it would use. So if you need to intensify or reduce your workout. So here, let's try to actually select those two, lower heart rate and then intensify workout. So I can select all those notes and go into this uh, AI helper here and I can actually uh, either generate uh, a new idea separately from this conversation. So then it's not going to be added into this interaction that we're having and I can sort of develop some ideas in parallel which can be really useful uh, w without adding them into the conversation. So, so here I'm seeing that intensifying your workout can inversely lower your heart rate over time as your cardiovascular fitness improves. Yeah, uh, after you finish exercises this is what can happen. So I can uh, save it into notes. This is uh, not saving it into graph because I don't want to have a conversation with it. But I can also send uh, these selected stuff uh, into the conversation itself by clicking save here and then it's going to generate some answer in relation to what I just said, right? So here it says that understanding your heart rate during a workout is crucial. It's If it's lower than recommended uh, range for your age and health status, consider increasing to intensify your exercise to optimize cardiovascular benefits. So this is actually a really good idea. This is how I also found myself uh, why the sensors are useful because I was not doing enough and the sensors allow you to do this. Um, but you can also say like, okay, now let's try to develop this further because we talked enough about uh, how it can be used to intensify uh, your exercise routines or to also relax when needed. Let's now explore the graph and see what are the other stuff uh, that we should cover in this conversation. So here I'm selecting sensor, monitor, let's say uh, crucial, vital, okay sleep maybe I can see here. This is interesting so let's click here and see what it has to say about this and as you can see I don't even have to form sentences I just select the parts of the graph that I want to develop a little bit further and then it's going to give me short concise responses that will be directed exactly at those parts I'm interested in. My natural tendency is to always focus on the periphery and this is what I recommend you to do because uh, this is where the new ideas will probably arise, right? So here it's talking about a sleep sensor that can successfully monitor important vitals through the night uh, and optimizing my rest. So this is great. How would you like to implement this technology? I can ask it back and how would you implement this technology? This is a good question actually. And let's see what it proposes, what it comes up with. Uh, so it says that the sleep sensors can be integrated or be used standalone tracking gadgets placed under your mattress. They sync data with apps to provide detailed analysis of sleep pattern. Okay, nothing new here. So if I want to develop it further, let's focus on this cluster here. So I will go into healthcare, sector, fitness, sensor. And I, I will try to develop now further this healthcare aspect. Uh, not the fitness one, but the healthcare one. So I just select those nodes and then it will generate some response that will connect all those ideas better. So here it's saying that it could uh, initiate early interventions by tracking vital parameters and encouraging patients to maintain physical activity. So interventions. Let's uh, let's go more in this direction of interventions because this was an interesting topic. For example, a fitness sensor can detect irregular heart patterns triggering early medical intervention. Similarly, Sedentary lifestyle alerts could prompt users to exercise, helping in prevention of disease. So, okay, this is interesting. Here it connects uh, this idea of how sensors can be used to help you change unhealthy patterns or to detect that something is going to happen. So, as we're having this conversation, uh, and let's say at some point I'm going to reach a level of saturation where I will feel like, okay, I look at the graph, I see some interesting stuff, but I don't get inspired anymore, let's say, for how I could develop it further. So what I do here 
is I turn on high-level ideas. What it does is that all these clusters of topics that it identified in this conversation, it's going to send them to ChatGPT and it will come back with the names for those topics, right? So that gives me a high-level view of what the conversation is about. It kind of analyzes this interaction in real time. And then it says, okay, I'm talking about heart monitoring, vital activity monitoring, wearable healthcare, exercise optimization. I can see that the exercise cluster also was really separate from the rest here. And then I have more on sleep tracking and pulse tracking and so on, right? So here I can say like, okay, is there any way that I can develop the structure of this conversation in an interesting direction for me? So for instance, I will see that, okay, uh, lifestyle alerts. This is quite interesting for me because it's neither about exercise nor about uh, health. It's more about lifestyle. So I can select this and then what I can do, um, if I just move this a little bit here, I can ask GPT-4 to generate some content in relation to this particular topic. It's not going to be added into the graph yet. I will first check what's going on here. So uh, here it says about an early intervention, which is a prompt alert to the user, can, can trigger a change in their sedentary lifestyle, uh, maintaining active routine. Okay, uh, another one another one here so it's all about uh, fixing sedentary lifestyle let's add this into notes <clears throat> but let's also ask the AI to generate some more content what about something that's not only sedentary in relation to this let's see if it come up with something so as you can see i like to pick the parts of the conversation that are underdeveloped and steering them in the direction that could be more interesting to my topic of interest. So here it says, uh, it's talking again about uh, sedentary lifestyle, timely intervention into sedentary lifestyles, and then prompt early intervention can stimulate, okay, let's regenerate more and try to get it out of this sedentary idea. And we will see how it works. So here it kind of starts looping on that, which is great because I wanted to demonstrate how we can get out from there. Okay, great. So if you see how it happens in this case that uh, you're interested in this topic, but you don't want this particular word inside, you can delete it from the graph, you hide it. Okay, then it recalculates the, uh, all the nodes. Then you select this one again and then you ask it to generate content again. And then it's not going to mention this word anymore. And then it's going to generate something in an interesting direction. Uh, so for example here, early intervention in medical situations can involve triggering specific procedures to initiate elaborate treatment plan that requires prompt response. Okay, this is more interesting. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let's save it into the graph now. And what happens is that it's going to start talking to itself. So we're generating content for it to then develop it further in an interesting direction. So here it says uh, it can enhance recovery, addressing issues because the, be, before they become serious, serious problems like diet changes for diabetes risk or physical therapy for minor, m minor injuries uh, to inhibit worsening. Okay, great. So this is good because now please provide more examples. And we will start gathering examples of lifestyle changes that are not only about sedentary lifestyle or diet uh, or physical activity, but more stuff. Hypertension, great. So here it's talking about uh, some particular medical conditions that we could address with the sensors. And as you can see, we're developing this cluster further by connecting it to some other ideas inside. One other approach that can be pretty interesting as well is that once you stop dealing with the graph itself and the topics identified, you can also go into blind spots here and ask Infranodus to highlight the gaps between the different topics in the network. And this is very interesting because it shows you which topics could be better connected but are not yet connected. So for example, in this case, tech optimization and data gadgets, right? And then you can generate an interesting question that would link them together save it into graph and then have chat GPT answering the question that it itself generates based on the gap. So here is very important. I'm not just asking it to generate any question. I'm asking it to look into the gaps 
in the discourse. So what's missing in the discourse, which topics are not well connected yet. And then once I find like a gap that I like, I will then generate a question using AI. And then I will say, send this question back to ChatGPT and ask it to generate some interesting content in relation to this. So this is also a really powerful approach, how you could use the AI to generate some interesting ideas in your conversation and help it explore beyond the periphery of what you're talking about. Try it out on infranodos.com. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and also subscribe to this channel so you can be informed about the new videos as they come out. Thank you.